We're here in Western Australia, about 160 k's outside of Perth at Rollins Mission to meet up with one of Glee's greatest players. St Jackson was one of the stolen generation and he was discovered here having a kick of the footy in 1963. Sid would go on to play with the Carlton Football Club and be named in the Indigenous Team of the Century. Sid has now returned to Rollins Mission to help change lives for the better. You were here as a kid from 1947. What was it like when you, when you arrived? Well, as a kid, you don't, don't remember too much because you, you, you're so young. But as you, as you grew up, you uh, became to understand that uh, you were here with a lot of other kids um, uh, as a four-year-old and, uh, and right through to the, to the age of 15 and a half. So I was actually taken from Leonora uh, as a kid under the old system of policy, uh, the segregation policy, and uh, a lot of us half-caste kids with others were put in this place. and. Um, it became our home. And was it tough living here at Roland's Mission? It's pretty tough in the sense that uh, you always had, had to be seen as doing something and mm. uh, you were given all your chores. Um, sometimes uh, in, in the summer it, it was doing the, cutting the hay, um, batting the hay, stacking the hay. Sometimes barefoot, the frost on the grass and they do all those chores before school and line up for breakfast and then, uh, then they get dressed to go to school and it was all part of the the system here that uh, we, we survived survived on, but was a kid, I, I call it children's labour that did all that, oh, yes, so that yeah. we, could, we could survive when I look back on it now. Mm. And what sort of memories stir up in you now, while you're here now as a grown man? Um, yeah, oh, look, I've, I've got over all the, the bad parts of it. It wasn't mm. all bad, there was a lot of good stuff here, but um, <laughs> lots of memories. I can still see kids um, screaming around here when they're kicking. Just, the, just kicking the football reminds me of what we used to do all day long. I guess that's what uh, that's how we became uh, reasonable footballers because we had one one or two footballs with it with 20 or 30 kids uh, trying to try yeah. kick the one football so you had to get in there and get a kick <laughs> and I think that you know um, unknowingly built up our skills yeah, and, uh, which started me uh, from my career to East Perth and uh, across the East of States of Carlton. So Calligan picked up by Jackson. His left shot is going close. Jackson, a miracle goal. Roland's mission closed its doors in 1975, but thanks to Sid Jackson and the Respect program, it is now propelling Indigenous youth into a better future. It's, it's a call a respect program because we're trying to uh, groom uh, young young people to um, to get a bit of self-esteem and how in how to go about pr approaching and uh, and uh, working out how they can present themselves for work and how to go about work and to find their way in way in way in life and uh, earn money and uh, mm. and uh, that's the way it should be. Mm. But I feel as though we've uh, actually cleansed the place by doing it up and putting these new programs in here mm. and uh, making make mm. it quite positive for people to come back now and enjoying the surroundings and and the programs that, uh, that they see that's a benefit to to the next few generations coming coming through the place so we're pretty proud of that mm -hmm. for that fact alone. Claire O'Kelly is the Respect Program Coordinator and Les Wallen is the Executive Officer of Walcombe Bunning Kiaka. Well as interpreters by the elders of where we're here it means it's a place where we've been we've left and returned to, to a place of seven hills. And what are the issues that you deal with? I'd say number one, be complete lack of confidence and understanding that there's a you know quite a huge group of young people needing a bit of added added support. But we also go into other things like your health and fitness, nutrition, but also how to work as, as a team, be strong as an individual. <laughs> the young ones that are here, we notice the changes pretty quickly. And so the young people have really embraced the course. Because of this confidence and they're wanting to participate, get involved with the community, they've gone out and uh, did voluntary work such as beach, you know, restoration works. <laughs> and uh, they've all show up, you know, to, in Helps. support of that. Fantastic. So they're a really committed group of young people. Is it important that uh, a lot of kids these days are uh, uh, a, a little bit lost? We saw that uh, this program might help in a, in a way that, uh, that they get themselves uh, uh, sorted out a little bit. This is what the program's all about. The Respect Program has given us a lot of confidence and uh, skill-wise for work reasons, you know. It's given me opportunities that I wouldn't expect to have. It's pretty much taught me to really put myself out there. We're learning to respect ourselves and the culture. A couple of us already got jobs in, a work in the workforce. I get a job, more training skills and, yeah, confidence. 
pretty much giving us all the best opportunities we can have. Yeah.